Hey guys, it's me, uh, Jay Gamerfan. I'm back with uh, another rant, kind of, and this is gonna be about YouTube academics. Yeah, I know. I've been hearing the sub for sub, the chain letters. You know, I compiled a long list of YouTube academics. There's so probably about 30 to 50 on this list I created. You can't see it from here, but anyway, I'm gonna talk about. This might be a two, three partner rant, so um. Uh, no intro because I'm gonna do this in kind of an epic rant form. Sorry about it. there's no music. But anyway, let's get started. First thing I want to talk about spammers. Now these guys are annoying because they usually do common abuse. Like you know they always comment on one video. Like you know just say the same thing over and over 50 times. You know like hey 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 50 times. Like in separate comments. You know it's just real annoying. You know. Hey, jeez, type out what you want to say, for, so you don't have to, all you want to say, so you don't have to put in, like, 50 different text boxes, you know. Next, I would like to talk about is the porn bots. Now, yeah, some of these also came from Pyramid Head, but some of these are my own. But the porn bots are annoying, uh, or the spam bots, you know, like, I'll just give an example of porn bot. Um, like, they put, like, a comment, you know, they go, it's like, www.freehentistar.com, remove the star, and enjoy, you know, just real annoying, and, um, yeah. Alright, now I want to talk about hentai bots and the hentai families, and these are two separate things. Um, first I'll start with the hentai bots, same thing, freehentai.com star, but what's real annoying is... Yeah, um, oh wait, four months. Get back to them. Um, yeah, or www.playboyblastar.com. Remove that joy, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the fanboys of Hentai. I mean, there's this one user called Hentai Kid. He is. He's gotta be the, ugh, the sickest guy I know on YouTube. I mean, he has an old website dedicated to his Bleach Hentai, Street Fighter Hentai. I think that's what he has on there so far. Some other random hand high. So there you go. He's like the biggest porn bot I know. Now, I'm gonna be talking about overrated YouTubers. Most of the overrated partners, like Fred, Maggie Bond, you know, they're just real annoying because they, they're just overrated. They don't deserve their recognition, you know, for their videos. They're not that good, in my opinion. All right, next thing I would like to talk about. It's the AVG and Nazis. Yes, these guys are real annoying. They like to go bash other reviewers reviewing games like, oh, you can't review that because I because AVG is the only reviewer, or oh, are your gamers the only reviewer? Yeah, they are gamer Nazis too, I guess. And um, yeah, it's just real annoying. Uh, the Iron Gamer versus AVG and War. Yeah, family. Yeah. It just needs to end, alright? I don't like them both anymore. They're just getting boring to me. They'll go like, Oh, you, you can't say that about AVG and an Iron Gamer. Anyway, I'm done with it. Um, uh, next one is Sub for Sub. This is real annoying because they just want, people just want to subscribe, want them to subscribe to you so you, they can get more popular. Sub for sub makes people, makes you look overrated, so don't do it. Just take it as a word of advice. F Fred for friend. Yes, people do this like, hey, you be my friend, I'll be your friend. No. I mean, come on, people. At least have a talk or two before you decide to be friends with somebody. And you will see these comments all over Fred's channel. And people who subscribe to you for no reason, pretty much. Like, oh, I'll just subscribe to this guy, this guy, this guy. And they have so much, it's like 1 million subscriptions or something, you know. Just annoying, you know. Now, YouTube's 10-minute time, 11-minute time limit. Uh, the 10-minute one's for all the normal YouTubers and the 11-minute one's for, like, directors and so forth. Uh, it just gets real annoying because... You know, in case you want to upload a whole movie or a feature length film on YouTube or something, you know, it just gets real annoying. So there you go. 
Uh, the next thing I like to talk about are YouTube haters. These are people who go around and say, oh, you're gay, you're fat because your videos suck and don't make any more videos or whatever, you know. Yeah, you know. And, um, yeah. It's just real annoying. Next thing, next one is uh, on my list is stalker haters. These are the haters that are devoted to hating you and they make like three, four accounts just to hate on you more and, and you know, to spam you on all this. And it's just real annoying. Just block them so you don't have to deal with them. YouTube glitches. These are real annoying. I mean, there's like every time YouTube has an update, there's always a glitch. Like you can't go in your inbox or you can't do your comments or whatever, you know. You know, yeah. Next thing I want to talk about is some useless YouTube features like um, the auto preview and um, that one thing where you have to enter this code if you post like seven comment on several videos. I think it should just stay the same, you know. And that's why I think those things are annoying because they're just useless features. Um, Next thing I like to talk about are Xbox and PS3 fanboys. Yes, or well, these well. The reason I'm talking about 360 and uh, PS3 fanboys because it's just annoying. I mean, yeah, it's just real. They just fight over which oh this game's better on 360 or this game's better on PS3. You know, I already rant about this, so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. All right. Sub, unsub, you know what I mean. Like, one day I subscribe to somebody, then I unsub to them, then I subscribe and unsub to them, then keep going on and on and on and on. And it's just real annoying, you know. Um, next epidemic. I would like to help. First comic, second comic. Yes, I got this from Pyramid Head. Yes, it's just, it's just annoying. Like, who cares you make the first and second comic, people? It's just a comment. So, what's the point? Yeah. One star raters, like people that just like to run rate your star because you're starting out or something like say only oh, you like they just all gonna assume you're gonna suck because your first video is like well you know what you're gonna start out not that good so and people just because somebody has all one stars doesn't mean they can improve I no I got one stars back then and I improved a lot you know and I think all the other users can do this you know. Yeah, and that's all I got to say about what's our Raiders. YouTube drama. Oh, boy. All of us users have been through it, all right? Even I have. I've been through the Spax 3 war, the Sonic war. <sighs> Mainly the Sonic war and the Spax 3 war. The Sonic war I'll talk about. It was basically this voice actor war between Ryan Drummond and, uh, oh, and the Four Kids war. Uh, between uh, Ryan Drummond and Jason Griffin, you know, like Jason Griffin fanboys, you should tackle drama fanboys, and they fight and fight who's the best voice actor. But really, they gotta learn that gameplay makes the game, you know. And, uh, and not to mention the big corporations trying to take over YouTube, like four kids and Viacom, they're trying to remove videos that don't even use any of their material or whatever. And Spax yeah, he keeps. Uh, he keeps start. He made these videos starting attack Guardian. Then Guardian comes to talk to him. They become friends. And they do several Skype chats together. And then Spax turns back and he does the Sonic movie project. And he blames he blames the director for the bad voice acting. He tries to sue him for that. And Lauren's a thirteen year old girl, you know. And he tried to get her in trouble because uh, apparently he thought he threatened her or something. When in fact he. Or, you know, um, that's uh, what I gotta say about YouTube. Um, bulletin abuse. People who go like, yeah, I got this one from Pyramid Head also. People who go like, oh, um, I'm gonna be gone for 30 minutes, you know, to watch a TV show. I mean, come on, people. Do you need to post a bulletin every time you leave YouTube? I can understand you like make a new video every here and there, you post a bulletin about it, you know. But don't do it like every 30 minutes or something because it's just annoying. Uh, that's all I gotta say in this uh, part. And uh, yeah, um, that's all I gotta say. Uh, 
stay tuned for part two of my uh, YouTube academics rant because I am not done.